snowing literally all weekend long. I completely just let myself rot over the weekend and I sat on the chair and read a couple naps and here we are, now it's Monday. So I need to bring some wood in again because apparently that's just all I do anymore. But it is still snowing. It's the kind of snow that looks like, you know like in movies when they have like the fake snow and the fake snow is literally like soap bubbles? That is what the snow looks like right now. And I can't go out the front door because the snow is too high to get to the wood from the front door, so I gotta go out the side door. in my mind that I want to shoot. I'm sure it's been done before, almost everything in the world has been, but I want to sit on a chair in front of a backdrop, but I'm not going to use the purple one. The bottom of it is all dirty! I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I want to sit on a chair in front of a backdrop. I wish that I had like another pole because I would have really loved to make it like a corner, but I don't have another pole well, actually, technically I do, but it's upstairs right now, holding a bunch of jackets. So, can't use that one right now. I wish I had thought of that before, because then I guess I could have. Maybe I should take the jackets off of it. I'm giving myself ideas that, like, I've told myself. I come to terms with the fact that it's not going to be a corner, and now I'm like, wait, but it could be a corner, because I do have that pole that I forgot about, but it's upstairs. It'd be hard for me to clean it up get it down here but this junk is also gonna be in the way anyway okay yeah i think we're not gonna do the corner today but it's gonna be it's hopefully gonna be good what i do do i just said do do you guys are getting my real-time thought process right now this junk i can't lift it so but i do think i can push it Okay, we're gonna use the gold backdrop today. Alright, so this is the set we are working with today. Doesn't look like much, but all that matters is what's in frame. And I wish I had like a steamer so I could get rid of all the wrinkles, but we might just have to deal with that. So I rigged my light so that it is coming from above now, which I feel like I like better. It covers a little bit more area, gives a little bit more focus on what 
I'm doing. I feel like when I shine this light over here, it takes away from the colorfulness, but there's a very real chance that that did not work out the way that I saw it in my head, but I'm gonna go upload it to my computer and see what happens. And then I'm gonna have to start making dinner because it's getting late. This day, the days just seem to like go by so quickly, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. Cause like, I don't realize how long it's taking. I think it's gonna take like half an hour and it ends up taking like two or three hours sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna go upload it to my computer, see what she's looking like, see if it came out even moderately what I was thinking. lighting I know um but I spent this afternoon baking cookies and cleaning up my house because my sisters and Gina are coming over because we are going to do a little like we're, we're trying to do a little book club like with just you know a few of us and we all read fourth wing recently so we're gonna do a little book club meeting um <laughs> I'll be honest, I really don't know what goes into, like, none of us have ever done, like, a book club before, as far as I know, so we're kind of just, like, testing the waters and seeing what is going on. We're just going to talk about the book because we all really enjoyed it, and yeah, it should be fun. Only, Ashley is the only one of us that has read Iron Flame so far. So um, she has to kind of keep her mouth shut on what's going to happen next. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have Iron Flame um, like reserved on Libby and I it's like in my library now. So I have like two weeks to read it. So I'm glad that we're like doing the book club today because I really want to I really want to read it. But like I didn't want to read it until we did like our book club meeting. Anyway, I'm just... It's like not gonna be anything too fancy, but I'm just cutting up like a couple of, I just wanted to like, when people come over, I just like to have food for people to eat. I don't know. I think it's a Fraser thing. The Fraser's like, we like to eat, okay? It, it is what it is. So I'm just cutting up a couple of like little veggies and I'm at the same time I'm making supper. Um, Gina's on her way here now, but I think Ashley and Paige are gonna be a little bit later. Yeah, it should be fun. I've never done a book club before. Maybe it's nerdy, I don't know, but Excited to see where the evening takes us. Oh. Let the uh, the first book club meeting commence. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. Oh, okay. Okay, so I didn't film anything yesterday, so I just thought we'd recap a little bit. Book club was amazing. Highly recommend. We really enjoyed it and can't wait to do it again. So um, I don't know what book we're gonna do next. I don't know if we're gonna do Iron Flame or if we're gonna do some of the Akatar series because we're all kind of like, me and Ashley have read the whole series that's out so far. And Paige and Gina, I think are on book like two or three. Um, so yeah, that those are some options. But I put makeup and straightened my hair today because I was filming a few things and really liking how it's looking. I was trying to film some like covers for TikTok and now I feel like my voice is weird because I kept singing the same things over and over and over and over and over again and it was not in a good key for me but I couldn't find the background track that was a good key so I just went with it anyway. Here we are. Um, me and Paige went to the thrift store yesterday because we got uh, gift cards for Christmas. So we figured we would go and spend them and get ourselves a little treat. So I just thought I'd show you what I got. Nothing too crazy but um, I just got a couple things, so let the haul begin. I got a pair of black biker shorts. They're not like brand name or anything. They're by, it says Yogalicious Lux. There was like, actually somebody must have like got rid of their whole collection of these because there was a ton of these there. Um, but these are just like the black ones. I don't have any plain like black biker shorts. So I just thought they'd be really good to have. I'm just showing you guys these now because I'm about to put them in the wash. So I got this little cropped t-shirt that says Atlanta. I kind of wish it didn't say Atlanta. The only reason I got it is because I really love the colors of it and I like the stripes across the front. Don't love that it says Atlanta but like it doesn't turn me off enough that I didn't want it. I don't know I just think it like I love like the mustard <laughs> yellow as everybody in the world probably knows by now. I like mustard yellow. I like the retro colors so 
I picked that up. I also haven't owned jeans in like literal years. I have not worn a pair of jeans in years because I have such a hard time finding ones that fit me. And I'm not paying a lot of money for jeans because when I do find jeans that fit me, I wear them a bunch and then my thighs rub together and they make the material thin and then they rip. It ha it's happened to every single pair of jeans I've ever owned. So I refuse to pay a lot of money for jeans because they're just gonna get ruined. But I did find this pair and here's the thing. So the reason why I haven't really had jeans in a long time is because A, they've all ripped. Jeans I find are really hard to get like a good fit. I'm a little bigger in the middle section and then like, I, my leg go down to like small at the bottom. Obviously that's what legs do, ankles, feet, you know? So my biggest problem is the jeans either fit the legs or they fit the belly and they don't fit both. So anyway, I decided to pick up this pair of jeans. They are originally from Old Navy. I'm just not really, I don't care where things come from. I really don't. If I if they fit and I like them, I will buy them. I don't care. I think these are actually a little bit too big for me, but they're kind of like baggy, which kind of, which makes them comfortable. And like, I'm wanting another pair of jeans just because I wear leggings every day. And sometimes you just want to switch it up a little bit. So I got this pair of baggy, they're like called boyfriend fit extra high rise they're almost a little too high rise i like my high rise stuff but they're almost a little too high rise in the back but like as long as you don't like really hike them up it's fine but anyway i'm excited to try and style these like i was really torn on whether i was going to buy them or not because i just couldn't decide if they were looked good or if they just looked weird but I bought them anyway because I don't have any jeans, so. They're the closest thing that I've found so far to something that works for my body type. And then I found this big old hunk of like cool looking material. It's definitely got like retro vibes all over it, which I very much enjoy. It's got the green, the orange, the blue, the brown, you know, the classic like retro colors. And the only thing it's missing is like the mustard yellow, but I mean, it's got the orange. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna make out of this, but I'm really excited because it's actually it's a pretty decent size hunk. Like there's a lot of layers in here. So yeah, I'm excited to see what I can conjure up out of this hunk of fabric. Let me tell you, buying fabric from a thrift store is so, 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 so much cheaper than buying it from a fabric fabric store. I mean, as is everything, but this was like 350 for this whole big chunk. And like, if I had bought this at a, like a fabric store, I guarantee you it would have been a heck of a lot more than that. Which is why I get all my fabric from the thrift stores. So yeah, anytime I sew anything, um, any material that I use, it has been found at the thrift store. There's never a guarantee you're gonna find good fabric at the thrift store, but when you do, you gotta buy it and then you have it ready for any sewing needs. Anyway, I'm gonna try and edit this TikTok that I filmed. I don't know if it turned out good, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and edit that and see what else I can get done today. And I'm gonna put these in the wash. So Taylor and I are having like a little Galentine's night and we're having cute little drinks and we're making a heart cake. So neither of us are bakers or particularly, well, Taylor's good at baking, but I'm not. Here goes nothing. We'll probably end up just eating it tonight anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a layer on the top. It should be thicker than the crumb coat, but you'll have to save enough for the crumb coat. A couple words per page, you know, it's geared towards very young children. It's looking good already. Is that eatable? Yeah, <laughs> Is that eatable? No, just for a look. Oh, pretty! It's like flying everywhere. Yeah. It is currently February 13th. Valentine's Day is tomorrow and I want to shoot a photo for Valentine's Day, but I do not want to put makeup on. My eye is having a hard time because I wore makeup a couple of times this past week and I don't want to put makeup on to shoot this picture. So we are going to shoot a picture for Valentine's Day that does not include my face. Um, so let's get started. So for this particular photo, I want more neutral hair because I just feel like it will look better and kind of 
it will give me the look that I want versus my purple hair because I kind of want like long curls coming down in the back. And as much as I love my purple hair, I have a vision for this photo and the purple is just not part of it. So I should put the dress on before I put the wig on. That makes way more sense. Okay, I'm gonna get changed first. The struggles of uh, trying to zip up your own dress. All right. Okay, so we are going for this brown wavy curly number. This is what my natural hair color pretty much used to look like. And this was also gifted to me by insert name here years ago. I did a video on it on my main channel, so feel free to go look at that if you want to. This is something that I would normally do in a mirror, but that's okay. The front really doesn't matter because it's gonna be the back anyway. It's pretty long, which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, photo is done. Happy with that vibe. Now, Tyler's gonna be home any minute, but I don't want to look like this when he comes home. It's Valentine's Day today, and Tyler got me those flowers over there, so I feel like the only appropriate thing to do is to make something yummy for dessert tonight. So I'm gonna make a brownie. I make this brownie literally all the time. It's usually a one pan brownie, but I kind of wanted to try and cut it into hearts. So I think I'm gonna mix it up in a bowl and then put some parchment paper in the pan because they're kind of hard to get out of the pan most of the time. So I feel like if I put parchment paper, it'll be easier to lift up and maybe we'll get to cut it into hearts. I wanted to put like a little bit of icing on it. My bangs are obviously doing weird things, but we'll see if I have enough time to finish this before he comes home.